Hi everybody, just uh, doing a quick video. We're planting some trees into the yard and uh, I dug some uh, holes uh, with a tractor and just kind of wanted to give you uh, a kind of how to uh, plant trees uh, you know tutorial. So what we're gonna do is obviously you know we got a, a papaya tree here uh, and we're gonna plant it into the ground. I dug some holes with a bucket of the tractor and uh, we got all those trees back there and all these trees here that need to be planted in the yard and then I need to rake all that stuff out. And the general process is actually fairly simple and I'll show you step by step. Uh, once you dig the hole, uh, we did it yesterday because we knew it was going to rain. I don't, uh, if you see and you watch the video uh, that I did yesterday uh, on um, the uh, installation of the uh, uh, wind turbine tower you'll see that we were going to plant some seed for the grass and you can see that I tore up all the dirt here and all the way around the, the house so that's planted now it's got seed all, all in it and it's got fertilizer so uh, the next step is to run the uh, uh, the uh, drag on it and uh, uh, that'll smooth everything out and I uh, will mix the seed in there really good with the dirt. For this right now, yeah, and then it, so it rained, uh, it rained in the in the morning hours. You can see that it's all wet in there. So this is a perfect time for planting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump dump a bag of uh, river rock at the bottom here on each one, and then we're gonna plant some peat moss in it. And once we put the peat moss in it, then we're gonna put the tree on it, and we're gonna cover it with dirt and then we're done. So that's general steps and I'll show you those step by step as we go through. Alright, thanks. Alright, so we got one papaya and one uh, Japanese loquat planted over there already and covered up and the rest uh, it's gonna get uh, filled up with a, a bag of uh, one cubic foot of uh, topsoil and uh, uh, some fertilizer. And this is what it should look like uh, as the first step. We're laying a half a cubic foot of uh, gravel for drainage underneath it. And uh, the next step is going to be to put some uh, uh, peat moss on top of it. And, uh, and then you just put the plant on there and start throwing dirt at it. So uh, let's go ahead and put the peat moss and then I'll uh, show you what that looks like. Alright, so uh, now it's got the peat moss in it and that's what it looks like. There's the uh, the bag of peat moss that we're using. Uh, we got that we got that from uh, Tractor Supply, and we got uh, three of those bags. They're 2.2 uh, 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 cubic feet each one. It's fairly compressed, so it goes a long way. Uh, so now what we got to do is put the plants on top of it and start throwing the dirt that we dug out into the hole, and uh, it should come out looking something like that. So that papaya plant will probably die in about six months, and then the low quad will just take over in that one spot, and then we're going to put another papaya plant here and some other plant, because we can count on that papaya dying as soon as uh, the winter comes. So, thanks for watching. Alright, so uh, we're finally done with the uh, uh, planting the trees. As you can see, there's a, a low quad tree there with a... Uh, uh, papaya and there's a parsimon with another papaya tree and that one's got already five papayas in fruit and then you can see there that we have a that's a pear tree and that's an or uh, I don't recall what that is oh, lemons so there's some lemons there and uh, a pear tree and uh, there's a banana and parsimon uh, that lemon tree is going to have to move. I didn't realize my wife planted it there. That's way too close. They're going to choke each other out. So, but anyways, that's uh, the general uh, idea: is to, you know, make the hole, put uh, uh, put some gravel on the bottom for drainage, throw some peat moss in there in the bottom, and then uh, put your tree on top and uh, put the dirt back in it, uh, mix it in with a little bit of topsoil and uh, follow it up with uh, some good potting mix and uh, you're good to go. And then as far as the, uh, you know, for 
seeding your your yard now that it's you know close to springtime, uh, you use a, a drag harrow to kind of you know lift up all the dead material, and uh, we put a, a fertilizer and grass seed in there yesterday. So if you do it after you do that, then it mixes it in really really good. It covers it down, covers the seed down, so the birds won't won't eat it all up and. Uh, it rained uh, early in the morning quite a bit, so the soil is moist, so that's that's great. And you can see right there that uh, uh, on the video that I took earlier, you could kind of tell how it looked uh, after I broke it up with the uh, with the cultivator. It's pretty rough, and then once you once you follow it up with the drag harrow, it smooths it out. And a drag harrow, by the way, you can just go to a tractor supply, pick one up, and. Uh, it's it's fairly simple. You don't need a tractor uh, to do it. You could uh, use a lawn tractor, or you could use an ATV and tow it behind. Uh, you need two horsepower uh, per foot uh, width on the drag harrow. So if you have a four foot uh, wide uh, drag harrow, um, you'd need an eight horsepower engine. So you know most everything that you'll use today for your garden will have. You know something higher than eight horsepower certainly an ATV would and uh, certainly uh, any kind of uh, lawn tractor would would have at least 12 horsepower if not more so anyways uh, hope you liked it and uh, you know this is the time to start transplanting whatever you have on pots onto the soil prepare the soil really well this is gonna be ongoing for us because we got a lot of trees you can see back there on a lot back there so we're going to dig some additional holes uh, on some of the trees that require protection from the wind behind there and then we're going to sit down and draw a map of you know where we're going to want the trees on our property over in the other side of the property uh, we certainly want to put some more and then in that really sunny area up there we definitely want to get some more because that that corner gets sun uh, all day long so uh, and then also on that side close to the fence uh, way going going way up to the other side of the property that gets a lot of sun so uh, that's it uh, I'll probably do an update on the solar and the wind here pretty soon uh, the towers are up and so it's not uh, I think it's time to clean the uh, solar panel so I'll probably do a video on that and then start checking things doing some battery maintenance and uh, I gotta change some circuits uh, for the secondary panel over there that's gonna go to the shed or, or to the uh, uh, storage building and that room, it's on a separate circuit. I'm gonna tie it all to the same circuit so, so it all works out of one inverter instead of two because I've noticed that I don't even, you know, my inverter doesn't even uh, sweat uh, from the load that I put it in so uh, there's no reason why I need two inverters. So that way I'll put one in a uh, canister all wrapped up uh, from EMP and it'll just be a spare so anyways that's it thanks for watching everybody god bless and take care